In this video, we're going to talk about Alephium, a small L1 blockchain that you probably never heard of, even though they're doing super interesting stuff. And in this video, we're going to cover all that, as well as highlight some of the unique features of Alephium blockchains. So first of all, Alephium was launched already in 2021, after two years of development, after the white paper that came out in 2019. I'm going to show you a timeline in a moment. However, what I wanted to highlight is that uh, from the very beginning, the founder of Alephium was trying to have uh, a blockchain that is proof of work, but actually proof of less work. So that uh, b while mining, you use less energy that you would mine, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum at a time. And basically, this is what they achieved, as well as achieving sharding. So sharding is very important here. If you don't understand sharding, it's basically uh, a way to partition a database uh, so that it can be on, on a different computers at the same time uh, in a way that you can put that together. Uh, sharding is very crucial also to Ethereum. So at some point, Ethereum will go into sharding. Uh, but basically, Alephim is doing that from start. So sharding means that you don't have to have the full node of the entire blockchain. You just need to mine a part of it in order to make it uh, secure. And this is why it's important uh, also for Ethereum going forward, because it makes everything faster. With Alephim, you have that from the start. So first of all, Proof of less work. Uh, this is uh, this is something unique. You have the white paper also, um, and there is a couple of other uh, ideas behind Alephium. So first of all, uh, you can start mining. This is pretty unique, especially with uh, the current uh, era blockchains, but you can really run it on your GPU. If you have Nvidia GPU, uh, AMD GPU, you can really start it, uh, start mining it in your uh, at your home. So that's really cool. You can also start building and contributing. Currently, uh, Alephium is very much in the development, uh, really small blockchain, as I've mentioned, they have a market cap of around $50 million, fully utilized market cap of $150 million, which is super small, especially for blockchains, because uh, if you, for example, think about like Aptos, Sui, and a bunch of other blockchains that launched last year, uh, they all have valuations in hundreds of millions or even billions. So Alephium is really, really small. Uh, the technology is really what makes it different. Uh, and I think it's really great. Uh, and I'm going to show you also a couple of applications. Also, apart from also the, uh, the sharding mechanics and the entire block flow, which is more than a blockchain because you don't really have a blockchain of uh, a, a block following block following block, but rather you have uh, different blocks that do not interact with each other. They form a DAG, so a directed acyclical graph, uh, which is pretty cool and makes everything faster. However, if you're not on the technical side, that might si sound just like a magic to you. Uh, from the perspective of a user, it makes everything more secure, more scalable and faster. Uh, so. This was the main idea behind it, make it faster, more secure, uh, and uh, also be mineable, uh, which is pretty cool, as well as be efficient in energy consumption. Uh, everything is programmable and secure. You have basically uh, smart contracts, just like you would have on Ethereum. However, uh, Alephium is using its own language, uh, which is called Ralph, uh, and this is very similar to how Rust works. So if you know Rust, you basically can start with Ralph right away. This is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and this is some numbers for uh, what's been done so far. So if uh, you have 16 shards running so far, uh, there's a 60 million uh, ALF circulating. That's the that's the token behind Alephium. Uh, and you have almost 20 million transactions executed so far. Uh, now, for the wallets, you have the extension wallet, desktop wallet, mobile wallet as well. Also, if you want to buy Alephium, you can currently buy it on the Gate.io. That's probably the biggest and the best exchange right now where you can buy Alephium. So if you want to buy Aleph, of course, not a financial advice, uh, purely educational content. If you want to buy it, you can use my link down below in the description uh, to get to Gate.io and buy Alf. Uh, now, uh, you, they already have a bunch of uh, partners as well as a bunch of bakers. Uh, different indiv individuals that invested uh, in a blockchain in development, as well as a couple of community projects that I'm going to show you as well in a moment. Now, we can see through the milestones that has been achieved so far. Uh, so the core platform, as I've mentioned, was uh, 
started to be built around 2019 with the white paper, actually white papers, because there's one for, for proof of less work and another one for the general idea of sharding uh, in 2019. Then the testnet was launched the year after in 2020. Uh, and uh, the mainnet finally was launched by the end of 2021, uh, November, so basically two years ago uh, from now. And then you had the first prototype of the, of the decentralized app in 2022 with a bunch of updates on the uh, mainnet and a testnet following. And basically the newest version was in 2023. As you can see, the desktop wallet 2.0 was in May 2023. So it's all very, very fresh. Now, what's next is basically building a bunch of different features uh, within the core platform, things like uh, Bridge, which actually just launched. So if you go up, you can already use a Bridge, but also developing an ecosystem, launching ambassador program, uh, running hackathons, uh, listing on different exchanges, ground program, and so on. Because I think the core, uh, the core plan right now for our lithium is having more developers and having more users on the platform. So if you're looking for an ecosystem that's super new and actually is looking for people uh, where, who can really make a difference, then basically LFU might be a thing for you. So this is uh, it for the for the main website. As you can see, you can join the community either on Twitter, Telegram, Discord, but uh, we're going to go through some of the dApps as well as uh, the overview in the white paper. So if you go to the white paper, uh, actually to the docs and then uh, to, to the white paper on GitHub, uh, you'll be able to see the, uh, the, the main features, what makes LFM special, and this is what I've mentioned with uh, scaling, with sharding, uh, program and secure, proof of less work, uh, so one eighth of the energy compared to Bitcoin for mining, uh, and then own uh, custom VM, virtual machine, and having a, its own programming language, which is uh, Ralph, similar to Rust, uh, making everything smart, smart uh, secure and efficient. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you have the tokenomics, 8% was uh, on pre sales 3% uh, community and ecosystem development, 3% treasurer and team, and the rest, 86% is mining rewards. This is pretty cool because basically this is what I would consider a fair launch pretty much because the best way to launch fairly is of course having some to the team community and then the rest being available for miners to go as we go. So if you still uh, watching this at this point, this is early, you can still start mining Alephium, uh, Alf, if, uh, Alf token, and this might be pretty substantial in the future. Now, uh, if you want to read more about how to start, for example, getting a full node or how to start mining, everything is explained in a docs. So you will have to run a full node uh, and then you have a solo mining guide, uh, which will basically direct you what you have to do. But if you mind any other cryptocurrency, that shouldn't be really a problem. You can also go on GitHub and you have a GPU miner and you can basically see uh, what's being done here and how to run it. Uh, but it's basically a bunch of scripts that you will have to go through. In any case, if you have any problems, you can always go to uh, Discord and or Telegram and ask people there. Now, going to the ecosystem, I'm going to show you a bunch of uh, a bunch of things that are happening. So first of all, there's uh, Ein, uh, which is uh, which is the uh, something like Uniswap, basically a decentralized exchange uh, that you can use to basically trade uh, different coins on Alephium as well as Stake LP, uh, have different kind of boosting. Uh, provide liquidity, look at the poll, pools, stats, and so on. So this is pretty cool stuff if, you, uh, if you're starting with Alephium, already bridge and already have something to, uh, to, to do on ALF. So this is one thing. Uh, really recommended a starting point on ALF. Uh, now, the next thing is the NFT marketplace. So that's already started on Alephium as well. Uh, Dead Rare is uh, an NFT marketplace that you can use to trade NFTs. And there are the first collections on Alephium already uh, that are being traded. So that's a cool stuff. Uh, and there's more projects coming along the way. Uh, another cool thing that I wanted to mention is Alf Rich List, which is basically a um, small app that allow you to show how many addresses there are that are interacting with Alephium blockchain as well as what they are holding, how much they are holding all together and where. And you can basically just go through different pages and see what people are doing on a blockchain. So this is Alephium. I'm pretty excited about it. It's really something new and really also very hidden gem. It's not really talked much about. Uh, it's super small at the moment, so no one knows what will happen to it, but this is really, really looking exciting. So 
definitely check it out. Not a financial advice, I have to underline. You will find all the links down below in the description. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.